Hey there, and welcome to another Jason May Draw. Today, I will be sketching a seafaring guy kind of floating on top of a weird object and having a pot on his head. I thought it would be kind of fun to have a really strange, unusual guy floating in the ocean with like sort of a seagull as a, a shipmate. Next week, I think I will put up a video of the Cupid that I drew for Valentine's Day last week or the week before. Uh, it may be a little bit late, but you can always reshare that next year on Valentine's Day to your special Valentine or just your friend because it's kind of a weird Cupid. Thank you again for joining me and enjoy. All right, let's get this sketch started off right. Gonna flesh everything out really rough, move some things around. Uh, I'm gonna take some time and fix some proportional issues that I had with his head and uh, arms and legs eventually. We have a scene where a guy is floating through the ocean. Who knows where he's coming from? He's got his little companion seagull. I actually found this sketch in one of my drawing folders and forgot that I had done it and I checked my capture folder and I happened to do a video on it. It wasn't colored yet so a few days ago I decided I would go through and color it and you'll be seeing that sequence in a bit. This is where I take out my patented Jason May inking pen that I use on most of my artwork that you see on Instagram or on YouTube here, or in the comics that I draw. I like to do a couple different layers. Each layer I use a different color to start out. That way I could tell uh, what is in the foreground, what is in the background, and what is in the middle ground. It just makes things easier for coloring later and for separation rather than separating the line art after I draw it. That's one of the benefits of drawing digitally. I get to do all this on separate layers to begin with. Back when I used to ink traditionally and scan it, I would have to worry about doing all those color holds separately and cutting the line artwork apart. I don't really have to do that anymore unless I decide to go traditional. In this case, it's not traditional. I'm popping all the flat colors in to start out as I usually do. You can see that in my other videos. I've got a basic color palette here of orange and blue, two complementary colors, and I'm doing quite a bit of in-between work with some of the reds and browns. They're all warm colors. I like the way this came out. I really like the bottle in the foreground. I always have a lot of fun putting highlights on things like the bottle or the sword. Now let's check out the final piece. All right, check that out. We've got some gradients I don't usually put in. A lot of fun colors. Thank you for joining me again and taking your time to spend with me. Check out some of my other videos. Check me out on Instagram, Jason May Art. And have a great week. Hopefully I'll see you again next week.